You guys have been a wonderful audience for sticking around, being high energy. I, we really appreciate it. So let's keep that energy going. In fact, let's crank it up a notch. Okay? Your next comic, please welcome Mr. Eric Schisler. Woo! Uh, you guys really do rock. Thank you very much for letting me do this. So, uh, I just want to ask, do you, do you guys all, like, do church and stuff? <laughs> no. I, I just went to church last, uh, millennium. <laughs> it got me thinking about heaven. And how much it would suck to be the guy in charge of heaven. Because, I mean, heaven's for everybody. But some people love the ocean, other people hate the beach. You, you can't keep everyone happy. I mean, what if I want to spend all of eternity with my family? Are you guys going to, like, Skype in great-granduncle Hitler? Or does he get, like, a day pass or something? <laughs> so, whenever I say that, people say, Eric because that's my name, they say, Eric, <laughs> you don't understand heaven. The human mind cannot comprehend heaven. Well, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> imagine going to a place that, well, you can't imagine it. By definition, you cannot. But try to imagine going to a place where there are no laws of physics, you know, where up is J and down is spring. <laughs> does your head hurt? Mine does. <laughs> I say if we can't understand heaven, then we just got to try to find it here on earth, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's why I run around my neighborhood most Saturdays butt naked with wings and a heart. <laughs> I just want to help people believe in angels again. <laughs> and yeah, every once in a while I get tasered, but that's, that's just the price you pay for helping people out. <laughs> oh. What else? Oh, did I mention, did I say out loud that I was related to Hitler? Mm -hmm. Everyone heard it? <laughs> Dang. Uh, someone's got to be related to Hitler, right? I mean, they didn't kill his whole family. You couldn't back then with the technology in the 40s. I mean, hey, now, now we can bomb a whole wedding party just to kill one guy. That sends a message. <laughs> yeah, that message is truth. Justice, and you probably shouldn't have a beard if you live in Pakistan. <laughs> Sincerely, the good guys, right? Mm -hmm. USA! Yeah. 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 So you guys like GMOs? You guys like, uh, no, yeah. Uh, My wife's all anti-GMO. I don't see what the big deal is. For those of you who aren't hip, a, a GMO is just a plant with extra genes stuffed inside, so it can do cool new things. I'm like, yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> like, you know, some plants, they just will produce bug poison right inside the plant. So if a bug eats the fruit, it dies. Yeah. Clearly nothing to be concerned about. <laughs> <laughs> These plants are also what they call Roundup Ready. Heard of, no? Okay, what that is, is they can spray all the weed killer they want on the plants, and it keeps growing. Then we pick it, rinse it off in the sink, and feed it to kids. Again, <laughs> nothing to be concerned about, right? <laughs> of course, I don't know if you guys know that the FDA just increased how much poison can be on the food when you buy it. 2,500%. <laughs> Let's put that in perspective. Ladies... You know the special birthday deal you have with your significant other? Imagine doing that every two weeks. <laughs> that seems like a lot. That's 2,500% that's increase for you. Okay. But that's fine. <laughs> it's nothing to be concerned about. But these are all the reasons my wife says, oh, we need to start labeling GMOs. I argue with her. Nobody cares. Right? Nobody wants to know what's really in our food. Sure, we'll watch someone eat something gross on TV. That's entertainment. But, you know, if you tell someone their store-bought milk is contaminated with growth hormones and pus, you're just some jerk. <laughs> Actually, Andrew, that's, uh, that's all I got. I'd like to thank you all for my time. My name's Eric Chisler. I'm just some jerk, I guess. <laughs> Oh, Chisler, he's a great guy. Let him hear it.